Hello guys. Today I would like to change the the orbit manual irrigation system sprinkler controller uh, irrigation for example product this orbit one to the smart one. So as you can see, after some time, right now it's auto, but it doesn't do the job properly when I go to for example duration or something. So it keeps going off to see if it's not and after you if it's become like that you know it is actually malfunction you shouldn't do that so you go off and on and i see my sprinkles are not working properly so when i suppose it is a time to change it that is not a bad thing actually i would like to get the, the smart system i can show you i get the nitro the nitro that come in this box and I just this is a nitro system this is a nitro system you just open the cap and this is the system that you're getting and they said that this can actually doesn't need any kind of scheduling or something so it just Gonna, based on the weather and also based on what plant you're having, it's gonna control the system. Some screw over here at this location. You just, I just took it out. Then you can see also here. This one needs to also comes off. I just push over here. I can show you one, and then this also comes off. So you can get it from there. So after this comes off, so you have the system that actually is exposed. So make sure that you know which color is go to which zone. And I have a description also before front lawn is one and the minutes and also front beds are two, front lawn is three, front lawn four, front beds are five and then six. I have six zones, but this one actually I get the 12 because I want to actually change some of my zones after I get this one. So make sure you take a picture of the colors that the common one, what is the common one? So you can see, I take a picture. Make sure the coloring of each zone are exactly matching what you're expecting. So six, five and everything like that. Plug it is wires out of your system and just store it somewhere. You make sure you get the pictures before you do that. So as I said before, so this one going, you need to push this one up. As you can see, push this one up, and then with the other hands you can remove it. So push this one up and then remove it. So you need both hands. I just present the show. Push this one up in the orbit model and then actually you can remove it. So remove all of those after this one and we're gonna come back. As you can see, everything has been removed. Right now we need to take just this one out of the wall and replace it with the other one and put the new wires in. So bear with me, I'm gonna come back here. Remove the battery cover and takes the battery out. So, and after we take the battery out, we're gonna expose the battery out. You're gonna expose two screws over here, as you can see. And then we need to just unscrew this and then take this one out of the wall. So remove all of those things over here, remove the battery cover, remove the two screws over here, and then you're good to go with the rest of the innocent so screws. You can see over here. You just try to, this one actually, had, they have a screw glue over there just take the glue out as you can see it just you just need to push it up and then close it so they have another one which you just put it at the top of this wall so there is nothing else you can see this is actually they put it over there and then these are two screws so that's it you take it out of the wall so it's very easy to take it out of the wall so again, I can show you after you take the screw up, put this one up, 
move it up and then you release it move it up and release it so that's it right now we're gonna install the net see the netro has only these two and at the back doesn't have anything so with these two screws at that location it should be okay you need to put the holes and then use this rope lock actually the screws to to do that so then you need to put them on the wall and as you can see I mark them over here make sure it's actually at the center you they have actually the center locator they put it on center after you put it on the wall and mark them as you can see I just scratch those into the wall to make sure that I put the rope and then you put the drinks over so I let's come back and then. as you can see it is actually the same size of my plug of this one and I can, I'll give you the number later of what, what you use for this one but simply you just after you put you put this one in and then hammer it inside don't as I said don't go larger than your this one because it becomes loose so after you use this one I'm just gonna hammer this So after I hammer this one, right now I'm ready to put the retro on and I just screw those in. So put the first one in, after you, you screw the first one in, after you screw the first one, actually this one you can actually adjust. So you can see if I, whatever, so if I go all the way over here, it's gonna be not at a horizontal. So this one actually, if I stayed over here, it's gonna be horizontally aligned. So after you align it, then you, just a script so you align it and done right now now you need to come back to your picture that you taken and put every, all of those in so based on the color and everything suppose put everything back in so let's do one you more push it down it's gonna release it so if you push it down it's gonna release it so probably you want to put all of them because you want to look nice and everything put everything inside the holes that you have over here I put it inside the holes and then try to install it the rest so as you can see it's gonna kind of stick in the rest and we're gonna do the rest just put it in you don't need to do anything just put it in and it's gonna stick over there and if you want to release it just push the push it back it's gonna release it if you so you look at your picture and put everything in so I'm going to put everything in and then we talk about it. So all of the same colors in the same spot and some of them actually you need to just push this button to allow the release button go so after I install all of those in the same color two common area over here I just put them back on over there so these two common ones from your plug they go to this two 24 VAC one and then we need to just then put that one back on so let's do that in any order I just put it over here I, to be honest with you I don't put any orders because it doesn't tell me to put any orders after I have done that one so I put the neutral it is upside down you gotta attach it automatically make sure you everything goes actually within that hole after you have done this one you need to plug it so when you plug it, you need to go right now. We need to go to app, and I show you how in the app actually we can do more stuff like this one. So I mean, you need to go continue the setup in the app. We're gonna turn different colors, and then we can go and there and see. We're gonna recognize everything and see how it goes from there. So let's go to the app. So when we go to the app, we just we get the app and open it. When you open the app. It's uh, this Netro app, you can see it has a five star also. The product has a five star. When we just, after you open the app, it's gonna go to this screen. The first screen, you need to just allow to use it, use the location of you, and then also it allow the, noti no, allow the notification. So then you create a sign up, create an account, and then put your email and password over here, and gonna op open up the over here. Click on the add the product, and when you add a product, 
and you can see the installation help on everything when you go to the other product you can find the find the irrigation controller click on that one so it's gonna automatically understand your irrigation system because your irrigation system right now is blinking probably and after it's blinking it's gonna you just name your irrigation controller system you have multiple units or otherwise so for example I call this one home or sprinkles home smart sprinkler system something like that after you you can also put your exact address over here find the it's gonna automatically understand your system it's gonna wants to also connect you your to your Wi-Fi system so you need to come back to your settings first when you go to the setting of your iPhone or any other phone you just go to the Wi-Fi and find the the Netro PC, Netro IRC irrigation system controller, Wi-Fi, and then come back to the app again and click next. When you click next, it's gonna find your Wi-Fi. So then you find your Wi-Fi name. For me, is actually TPC Link, for example, C9444, and put your Wi-Fi password over here. After you put your Wi-Fi password, your Nitro system are going to connect to your Wi-Fi and it's going to be connected to the to your to the internet to get all of the accurate um, weather prediction and everything. So as you can see right now, it's connecting to the Wi-Fi and get all of the information. And you should be the, after this step, you should be ready to actually control your irrigation system using your iPhone app or Android app that you have over here. So you can see it's already connected to the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi and everything. Right now we go to the next steps in the app, which is enabling each zone. So we go to zone one, and because we already put that cable in, we just enable this one. We're gonna, based on the description of the, each zone that you're having, put the zone name. For example, my zone one actually is front lawn, grass or something what whatever you want to call each zone so you do it for each zone just rename each zone you can also find the type of the for example this uh, area that you are going to use for example if it is a grass or for example for me it's actually it's not a cool season grass here it's really warm in Bakersfield so probably I use I need to use the different ones so I probably if I use the for example the warm season grass you can find trees or other things that you have and also then after based on that actually you can find also the species in the later steps that i show you in the settings but you can also find the soil type based on the if it is a clay is a silty clay or for example other things also you can find for example the slope of your system you can also find for example if it is a slight slope moderate slope it has, has, has really a steep a slope and then you choose that one and you can also adjust it based on that so after you set up everything you just make sure that go to the next zone and then do it for all of the other zones as we go through so we go to the after you are done with all of zones I click on the done with all of my zones and you go to the main home page of the your Netro system as you can see you can see all of your zones you have interest of which one is actually trees which one is grass and everything like that you can identify for example to start any of those right now it is interesting that all of them has been auto scheduled based on the weather based on the prediction based on the for example the humidity and everything else you can go to each zone and actually see uh, what kind of setting you have for each of those and actually do the a smart system or just actually manually scheduling each zone you can also go to the your uh, calendar you can also go to your description of those to actually find out which one you should do if you go to the uh, the main home page you can see each zone and you can actually start the manual by click on the play button and after the play button you can actually you can right now the system is watering the zone one and actually i can see it actually my spring is actually is working right now so the system is working congratulations everybody you can see that zone one is watering if you want to stop it just click the stop button and it's gonna stop the button you cannot do multiple zone if you do it. another one is okay is right now watering only one zone so you can only do one zone and per time 
also if you go to the each zone you can find for example hide water throughout the day or throughout the month or throughout the year also if you go to settings you can find very interesting stuff about each zone you can take the rename each zone that you would like to have you can also do uh, if you change your zone or something you can take a picture of your zone and put it over there to make sure that this zone you're in, you having the concern about that one you can also if you understand for example there is, there is a trees over there or you put some kind of grass you have you can also identify the species of each zone as you go through that one hopefully you enjoy this video and if you have any question or comments about the settings of the Netro app or anything just uh, comments on this uh, video I'm going to answer any question you have so have a great one thank you so much